What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Out Country Sales. Today I'm going to show you a haul from one of our curb picking adventures. So everything was free, 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 free. You know how I like free. Let's see what I got and how much profit am I actually going to make. All the resellers of YouTube, our name is Out Country Sales. We pick, we flip, our motto is not to fail. We pick, we flip, it's time to send out the mail. We got boxes stacked, totes to unpack, there ain't no time to relax. So this stop had quite a few Christmas stuff. And the best thing about it was, is that this stuff was brand new. It all was all in boxes and looked like it had never been used before. This little snowman with the little spot where you put the candle actually came with a candle, never lit. You can tell this thing has never been used. And it was by Scott's Collectibles. I used to call them tea light candles, but this one actually says frosty votive or vadev holder so i don't know if that's basically the same thing as a tea candle if i am wrong let me know there are these little tiny candles and they these little cute little holders this thing is brand spanking new and he is up in my makari and my ebay store for 12 dollars plus ship next one is this super cute snowman and he's uh what you call a shelf sitter holding a card and all let's see he was why Country Christmas also came with a box. Country Christmas Snowman Shelf Sitter. He's actually kind of heavy. Okay, now I'm going to knock the foam over. But super cute, and he is up in my Macari eBay store for $14. The next thing is the metallic colored ceramic candle holders. Never been used. Wicks are still good on them. There was no specific brand that I don't think there was. Yeah, wait, never mind, there was. It was Gifco Inc. So nothing big or nothing like that, but Gifco Inc. And I mean, either way, they're really cool. So if they don't sell, I'll, I'll use them. Brand new Christmas stuff on the curb. This cute picture here of, it looks like three Santas. It could be a Santa and two elves, but it looks like three Santas to me. Looking through the window, peeping through the window, checking to make sure the kids are all behaving. I mean, I don't know why there would be three. I think I'm going to take this one down to our booth. About 10 bucks on that guy. And then these were a set of what you call fat chef pitchers. There was, an, they're made of tile. There was a fourth one, but it had a pretty big chip in it. Um, this one has a small chip, which I did disclose. And then a pack of party light candles. These smell freaking amazing. They're cranberry. There is one missing in that box. I think I put them for 12 plus shipping as a set. And then at a different spot, we picked up a iPad Shuffle. It is listed right now for 20 bucks. I've had a lot of interest on it on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm thinking it's going to sell pretty fast. All right. So those of you who've seen the video from last week where I sold that doll for $105, well, this is the second one that is still brand new in the packaging. She definitely has been sitting for a long time. I can see spots on her hands and on her face. So I'm hoping I will be able to clean her up. And she even comes, there's her hat, and she comes with a certificate. I think that's supposed to be like a certificate of authentication maybe. Or it just explains what she is. But yep, this is one of those 38-inch porcelain dolls. Comes with a little handbag. Not sure what's in there, actually. It's like a necklace that maybe possibly broke. Yeah, it looks like there was a pearl necklace that at some point must have got broken. Or a bracelet, even. And they put it in here. Keep. So, that will definitely have to be disclosed. But, I mean, at least they kept them. Somebody can fix it. I wonder if maybe she was sat out and displayed for a while, but they had the box, so they just put her back. I might take her out just to make sure that everything is good. You just never know. Even though it looks like it's been in the box, you just never know. There's the certificate. So, it's Juliet, 210 of 600 pieces. So, only 600 of these were made. Is that why they're so sought after? Maybe. I don't know, but guess what? It brings me a hundred bucks. Actually, this one with the box and all the paperwork and everything being with it, the last one I got a hundred and five. I'm looking for at least a hundred and forty for this one. 
So for those of you who don't know, I have severe asthma. If you are new here and you don't know this about me, or if you just didn't know, I have severe, severe asthma. So I just want to apologize. I feel like I'm completely stuttering over my words today. It's kind of hard to get them out right now, but I'm going to keep pushing through. Um, which I also brought me, brings me to another thing is someone had uh, brought up and asked me if I was still going to release the resellers of YouTube song. 100% I am absolutely going to do that. But because I've been suffering through my asthma for the last few months, I haven't been able to. There's no way I can record or rap anything. So um, that will still be coming. I have a doctor's appointment in December to see a specialist and figure out why my asthma is so severe now over the last year than it has ever been before. So I just want to let you guys know, keep a personal update to know what's going on. And this was the other big money maker, along with this sewing uh, tool chest, I guess, is what you would call this. Um, we did get a antique sewing machine that came with this. And I will show a picture of the sewing machine so you know what I'm talking about. But it did come with that. So these were my two big money makers that we got for free that week. The dolls. Two of those dolls. We already made 105 bucks on. And then the sewing machine. But isn't this so cool? This had definitely been refurbished. Um, new paint for sure. Or new, what do you call it? Overcoat? Something like that. You know what I mean. All right, guys. Let's see how much potential profit we're going to make from these curved vines this week. Remember, I already made $105 off the doll. And, us, and we sold... A pack of practice golf balls for ten dollars plus shipping so 115 dollars total let's calculate the rest up and see what we got some great great profit this is why we curb pick and this is why we find free pickups the next video that i told you about will be out next week and i'm going to talk to you all about where we get our free stuff, how we find out about our free stuff, and all the free stuff that is sold over the last month. Until the next one, bye! For the resellers of YouTube, our name is Out Country Sales. We pick, we flip, our motto is not to fail. We pick, we flip, it's time to send out the mail. We got boxes stacked, toast to unpack.